Hey, this is Mark Moore, aka Tuxedo Mark, at various places on the internet. It's 12 p.m. according to a computer clock on Thursday, April 9, 2015. I want to show you the latest comics that I got today. Uh, first of all, Betty and Veronica Comics Double Digest, number 231. I picked up number 232 at the store recently. I had missed this one, so I had to order it. This title has one of the most inconsistently uh, named. Uh, it's inconsistently named for like the past year or two. Basically, what happened was there used to be a digest, sometimes called a comics digest, and then there was a double digest, which was double the length. Over time, the regular digest and the comic and the double digest shrunk down in page count. So eventually the uh, the double digest was roughly the same size as um, the old style uh, regular digest uh, used to be. And then they canceled the digests entirely. Um, well, they didn't cancel. What they did, apparently, they uh, created a new title called B&V Friends Double Digest. And that continued the numbering from the, from the uh, regular uh, digests while the uh, Double Digests continued. Eventually, since there were no more regular digests around, I guess they decided it wouldn't make sense to continue calling this a Double Digest. So they renamed it to just Comics Digest. But then, every so often, they would come out with these uh, thicker issues that were like... Um, you see, back when they called it, the, when they still called it the Double Digest, every so often, maybe once or twice per year, they would come out with... Uh, a double the length uh, digest with you know twice the number of pages and they called it a double double digest confusingly enough and then when he stopped calling this double digest and just called it comics digest the double double digest became known as jumbo comics digest or something like that but apparently now the double is back in the title of the regular digests It's it's so confusing. Anyway, a uh, little ad type of thing, whatever. Uh, invoice. Okay. Check this out. Okay, here are the regular comics I ordered. I got Gem and Holograms number one. Yay! What's odd, though, is that they send me this cover. It's, um, cover D, apparently. It's got a cutesy, uh, gem on the front. But what's weird is I had ordered the regular cover with a, with a band pick. But, uh, they sent me this one. I don't mind. I, I mean, I don't, I don't care. It's just, it's just a bit odd. Uh, Showtime, part one. So, uh, so this is basically the equivalent of, like, um, the beginning, or, you know, the big, or if you're going by the miniseries, it would be, um, you know, truly outrageous. So that, but this is a reboot, it, it doesn't tie into the actual show. Um, at the end of the actual story, there are character profiles. Which is neat. First there's a, first there's a letter from writer Kelly Thompson, and then we get the character profiles.
just for just the holograms. Next month, issue number two with the Misfits cover. Uh, an advertisement for something called Story Killer. This looks kind of cool. Um, an advertisement for Gem and Transformers comics. Comics on sale in March. Just a bunch of advertisements on back. More ads for Transformers comics. An ad for the uh, box set of Chipman and Holograms number one with all of the covers. If you really want to do that, got all of the covers on the back cover. Okay. And then uh, Ninja Turtles ad on the back. So I look forward to reading this. And then. Uh, okay, I, I pulled it out like this, I believe, I think, I'm not sure, but anyway, then we got Tomb Raider, upside down, it's Tomb Raider number uh, 14, nice, cool cover. And then, Archie number 665, the penultimate issue of the Archie comic that has run since the 1940s. I believe it was since the 40s. Has it been? Or was this? Yeah, I, th I think so. Um, it's got Harper Lodge in it. Veronica's cousin or whatever. I, I haven't read the Harper introductory story and it's odd that uh, she's not Caucasian and uh, so but apparently she is related to uh, Veronica somehow. Anyway So it's a full length story. That's, apparently she's uh, drawing a comic book or something. And uh, apparently she's not completely uh, paralyzed because she can stand with a uh, um, some kind of crutch or cane or something. And, uh, that's it. Apparently number 666 will be like a big celebration of, um, Archie's history or something. And then the reboot comes out in June. So, yeah. Um, look forward to reading these. And I just wanted to share it. And uh, it's 12.09 p.m. and that's it. Thanks for watching.